And we are live with another edition of All In on Becton Sports, hosted by Sean Healy. Sean is joined tonight by some of his Becton football teammates. Welcome, Sean. Thank you. Happy to be back to happy to be ba- be back for another episode of All In on Becton Sports. I'm happy to welcome Vicente Peralta, Everett Bell, and Brandon Williams to the show. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys. Thank you for having me. No problem. Tough game last week. How do you guys think we bounced back for this week? Was it a good week of practice? Uh, how do you guys think that we're going to perform against Glenrock as well? We could start here with Brandon. Um, I think we've had a, a good good practices all week. I think uh, we're prepared to play Glenrock. Vicente, what about you? I feel like this week has been a great week of practice. Using the motivation from the loss from Rutherford will drag into t- um, tomorrow night's game. Definitely, definitely. Everett, any anything else you want to add? Um, kind of the same thing, you know. We had a good two full padded practices, which we made the most of, and uh, I think we're ready. A lot of our kids are good with watching film and all of that, so I think we're ready. Definitely, we've been putting in the hours in in practice and watching film. I agree. Vicente, you play a little bit of everything: the offensive and defensive sides of the ball, as well as special teams. How important is it for all phases of the game to come together to beat Glen Rock tomorrow? Um, that everyone keeps working hard together, um, keep being aggressive to the ball like we've always been, never backing down to any other teams that we have played this season. For special teams, of course, um, since I'm a kicker, it's we get the ball where we need to be and make sure that everyone gets to the right spot. Yes, sir. I agree. Everett, they say the ground game and the ability to stop the ground game are essential keys to victory. How important is it for us to do that on Friday night? Be able to um, run the ball and also be able to stop Glen Rock's run game, that is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, well, our run game um, with me uh, and our other running backs were um, pretty good with our run game. Uh, we have a lot of fast people that can get the ball. Uh, you know, far distances in a short amount of time. And then we have uh, power running backs like myself. Uh, and on defense, you know, we've always uh, – most of the defensive players specialized in um, the ground game. It's I always felt easier for me personally. Uh, and the weather's going to play a big role in that because of the rainy um, weather. There's not going to be a lot of passing the ball. And, um, yeah, so I just feel like we – can all rally to the ball and stop their run game. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Brandon, as we discussed at the beginning of the show, we're coming off a tough loss to Rutherford. Friday night, we are home. How much of a factor will this play for us, the fans, senior night, etc.? cetera? Um, you know, it's a, it's a great atmosphere to play in. The jungle is always loud, and with senior night, it's just going to be so much louder. We just need everyone to come to the game, rally behind us, and we're going to get the win. Yeah, we need that support from behind us from the jungle. Sean, we have a uh, Diego checking in from YouTube. Just wanted to give uh, Diego a little shout out. How we doing, Diego? <laughs> uh, everybody, uh, last week I had some of the coaching staff on the show. I asked them about their experiences playing in high school. I wanted to ask you guys something similar. How did you guys start playing football? And what m- motivates you to keep working hard as a member of the Beckton football program? We could start with Brandon. Um, I kind of just started playing because I was, uh, I just wanted some new experiences and what just really makes me work hard and want, wanting to keep getting better is just having a great team and having the ability and being able to win games week in and week out. Definitely, definitely. Vicente, what about you? Um... It was, like B was saying, it was a new experience. I never thought I was going to play football at first, but then when I started playing, it was a great experience, and I kept wanting to do it. Also, with their great coaching staff, it was it made it even better. Yeah, I definitely respect our coaching staff. They're all great. Everett, how about you? What was your journey getting into football? Um, I've always kind of played football, uh, like, since I was, like, five years old. I've been playing. My dad's a big inspiration. He was, he played at Beckton as well. Um, 
So I've always kind of just been into playing football. I've always been pretty good, you know, hopping around um, teams, you know, but I've always knew that I was a, a wildcat at heart. And this coaching staff, like everybody said, is really good. And I'm uh, learning a lot about being a linebacker and um, just understanding the true meaning, like, and what they're supposed to do and all the responsibilities. And it's just, it's a really big, um, just really big, uh, what's the word? Privilege to me that I have such great coaches that will um, teach me how to be the best version I can be in the sport. Definitely. Uh, to everybody as well, uh, what are your best Becton football memories that you've had since playing high school football? I think we can start with Brandon again. Best memories? It's, it's hard to pick. I've had so much memories. But just being able to play with uh, all my friends is just so fun to um, just play with y'all. Yeah. Just winning. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling after winning a game is unmatched. Yeah. Being in that locker room, the music playing, everyone just – everyone's happy, a smile on everyone's face is the best. The winning atmosphere, it's, it's a – A winning atmosphere is the best atmosphere. Yeah. Vicente, what about you? Any uh, memories <laughs> that stick out to you? I think uh, freshman year, like actually winning the whole title with Sincere and Tommy when all the seniors were there. Um, that was a great experience, and they motivated me more to be better as a football player. Yes, I remember Tommy. He was a great leader. Uh, Everett, what about you? Any favorite memories? Um, personally, it was mo probably the the Rutherford game last year, freshman, not knowing. I knew I was a great – a good football player, and I knew I had a chance to play varsity time as a freshman. But as uh, – I did not expect to like really get pushed in like that, but I really um, appreciate that they respect me. The coaching staff respects me uh, enough as a player to really put me in when we needed somebody. And I really felt like um, just playing varsity and playing that uh, whole atmosphere really increased my like game because I was ready for that in these come like this year. I'm ready for that because I got to play in my freshman year. I got to get all those jitters out and stuff. And I feel like I can really play without being, you know, scared and without being um, like my emotions getting messed with because of the crowd and stuff like that, you know? So I'm really um, appreciative about that. I definitely agree. I think that the team definitely, the team definitely needs you. The team definitely uh, thrives when you're doing better along with Brandon and Vicente. I definitely agree. Thank you. Sean, we have a great question from one of our um, one of Kurt's K and K uh, sports show. I'm going to say like like listeners, uh, and he has his own Denver Broncos show out in um, Montana. Believe it or not, so we have a question from Montana for you guys. It is: What lessons have you learned from your losses? Uh, let's see, uh, Everett, you want to answer that one? Sure. Uh as a young man that's playing football and going through life, losses is going to be a reoccurring thing. And I feel like playing football throughout my life, those losses really like they, you remember them, but it's not necessary. It's a bad thing, of course, in the season, but thinking back about it, you always are going to remember like, like what you did wrong what you did right and how to progress your game. And also those losses help you later on in life when you're going to lose stuff, obviously, in life and how to deal with those losses and, yeah, how to deal with those losses that come later on in life. I definitely agree. Well said. All right, before I let you guys go, I have a few rapid-fire questions for you guys. Let's see. Vicente, favorite athlete of all time. Oh, that's a hard question, but I think I might have to go with uh, Mike Tyson, low key. Mm, Mike Tyson, that's a good choice. Mm. Would you ever get the same tattoo as him? Oh, definitely not. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Uh, Brandon, uh, favorite food? Um, buy chicken wings. Chicken wings. Mm, standard answer. <laughs> Everett, uh, what's a good question for you, Everett? I would say, what is your favorite genre of music to listen to before a game? Um... Well, all I uh, hear in the um, locker room is drill. So I guess I'm going to have to say drill. It's all if that we could, hear. If you could choose the music in the locker room, what would you choose? I would probably be drill, too. <laughs> I mean, that's like, I don't, I, half the time you don't know what they're saying, but it gets you hyped. I mean, it gets you ready, though. Yeah. It gets you prepared. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Sure. I think. I sure, we have a rapid a fire course. question from an audience member. Can I throw it up for you to to uh to give of to course. one one of your uh one of your teammates there? If you were a candy bar, which candy bar would you be? Oh, that's a good one. Brandon, if you were a candy bar, which candy bar would you be? Um <laughs> I think um probably a, a Milky Way. I like mm. Milky Ways. Why is that? They're just, they're so, they're tasty. <laughs> I like, there's different they're layers tasty. to it. I like that. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vicente or Everett, either of you guys have a preferred candy bar you would be? Um, Twix. not really. I think Twix. Mm. What about you? I think I'd be Three Musketeers. That's valid. That's underrated. Oh, I've yeah, never had one of those. Tears. That is really underrated. <laughs> and Sean, we have Coach Longo checking in, saying appreciate the effort and I'm sorry, the effort and, and work ethic from all four of you during your time as Wildcats. Let's finish the season strong. <laughs> Thank you very much, Coach Jay. I appreciate that. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. No. Anything else for your teammates there? Uh, uh, no, I think we're all wrapped up for tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thanks so much, guys. And thank you, Sean. Thank you for the comments from our listeners and watchers. And uh, good luck this weekend, guys.